The Tree of Robots Since the 50s of the last century, robotics has become reality. Initially, the focus was mainly on industrial applications, next to pioneering humanoid research systems, thus, programmable and universally applicable machines were developed. Later, vacuuming robots, social robots, service robots, surgical robots, mobile robots for homes, space robots, robots for fenceless operations and many others were developed. And in recent years, an unprecedented number of humanoids began to enter the scene. The number of robots is increasing fundamentally, but there is still a lack of basic understanding of their capabilities. For which tasks and in which environments are these robots suitable? Let's look at a door opening problem as a simple example. The morphology and capability of system A may not be sufficient to complete this task, while system B may solve the task at ease. This simple example transfers to any imaginable task. So, how can we find the technology successfully fulfilling a task? The fundamental question that we address in this work is, how can we rank and categorize robots based on their morphology and capability? Let's take inspiration from the natural sciences with their established taxonomic system, where the categorization of life has been an ongoing endeavor for more than 170 years. Scholars such as Charles Darwin and many others before him wondered how living species are related and how we can categorize them. By observing bird beaks, Charles Darwin established a link between the morphology of birds and the capabilities they need to survive in their habitat. Small and pointed beaks made the bird capable of fast and precise picking to peg, for example fastly retracting worms or insects. While large, powerful beaks give the birds the ability to crack hard seeds by applying force. The origin of both birds is the same ancestor, but their morphology adapted to the required capabilities. Darwin structured this evolution into the tree of life, which was filled over the time by various scientists. With this in mind, in our work, we propose an artificial taxonomic tree, the tree of robots. A taxonomy describing robot classes according to morphology and capability where the capability is deduced by requirements towards the robot. For this, we first need to define the structure of the tree of robots. Robots are one domain of machines. They can be divided into kingdoms by their scale for example into micro or meso-scaled systems. Depending on their main building material they can be assigned to a phylum, like organic robots or anorganic robots. Next, we can distinguish the robots by the main building principle. Among the anorganic robots, there are for example mechatronic, printed, or even self-assembling robots, defining the class. The order of the robots is defined by their mobility. Looking at the class of mechatronic robots, there are for example fixed base robots, ground vehicles, or bipeds. In the branches, we, first, define the robot family by looking closely at concrete detailed morphological features, like sensing architecture, mechanical structure, and actuator design. Resulting, for example in humanoids or manipulators. Then, we link these morphological features to the robot capabilities, where the performance of robots in required capabilities, which we refer to as fitness, varies, and certain fitness groups form. The question is, how can we define the fitness groups, forming the genus, and which group do certain species belong to? To answer this question, we look at today's best studied group of robots, commonly available industrial manipulators, to analyze generally required and available robot capabilities using 11 single species of this family. To quantify the robot capabilities, we apply a general pipeline resulting in fitness metrics for a system based on the required tasks. We structure a collection of required tasks in one use case domain into generally required processes. Then, we derive basic operations and necessities required to perform any process. These basic operations and necessities define certain process quality metrics. Transferring these process quality metrics into the system space, with focus on the robot, defines concrete, robot capabilities, that are quantified by robot fitness metrics, which we can group by motion, force sensing, control, reaction, human safety, and teaching. Each of this groups consists of various metrics, 
such as the well-known pose accuracy and repeatability that are part of motion fitness metrics. Consequently, we prepare reproducible benchmark test setups and procedures to measure a total of 25 robot fitness metrics, including, for example, force sensing fitness, force controller fitness, impact stability, material consistency, manual maneuverability, human safety, and force reaction. Four years and 3,381 datasets later, we can now classify this family of robots based on their fitness in tactility and motion. Using machine learning we can automatically classify the genus of the tested robot species. Thus, creating the first branch in the tree of robots, where the fitness groups are the robots genera and the individual systems are the species. This procedure can be transferred to various robots, their capabilities, fitness, and suitability for a given set of tasks. This will be fundamental for the science of robotics to structure and classify all existing and future systems as well as objectify their fitness. For example, humanoids could be classified by this procedure in their fitness to assist humans for health applications and elderly care. The paper describes all methods in detail and is also intended as a call for action to the entire community to fill and nourish the ever-growing tree of robots together.